What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to quickly reverse faces so that the proper face is facing outward inside of your model. Before we get started I want to take a second and thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Farah Abdel Wahab, Marie Teresa Marchetti, Nan Nan Chen, Stephen Rugg, Michael B. Johnson, and Jeff Rogers. Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So um, this week, my patrons voted and selected an automatic face reverser um, as the extension of the week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the show, maybe, uh, maybe vote on the extension that I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plug in name, automatic face reverser. Plugin developer, Didier Burr. Plugin cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Sketchication extension warehouse. Tool functions. This tool, while it's a little bit old, is very useful for automatically orienting the proper faces towards the camera. One of the more tedious things you can deal with inside of SketchUp is when you get a bunch of faces inside of your model and you have to go back and reverse them in order to have the proper face facing outward. What this tool does is this makes that process a lot easier. And I will link to a video in the notes about why this is important, but as a best practice, it's a good idea to have the front side of faces facing out. Otherwise, you can run into problems with rendering programs and lots of other things as well. Um, plus, your models just look kind of weird if you have a bunch of dark faces and light faces all together. So kind of like this, they just don't really make a whole lot of sense. So it's just a better idea to have the front side of the faces or the white side facing the camera. And so what this tool does is this allows you to go in and automatically reverse faces based on your camera location um, or based on a selection. So the way that it works is once you install this extension, you can right click and there's an option here for view based face reverser. And so when we, when we open this up, we can right click so you can right click anywhere in your screen and there's a couple different options. And in this case, we're gonna select the option for scan model. And so when we select the option for scan model, what this is gonna do is this is gonna give us some options for accuracy and cameras and things like that. I haven't actually changed any of these. I just kind of leave it as is. So feel free to fool around with this. But in this case, I'm just gonna click okay. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna go inside of this viewport and that's gonna scan for faces that aren't facing the proper direction direction, it's going to automatically reverse them. So you can see how right here, um, this face inside of this model got reversed, as did this one. And you'll actually notice that a couple of the faces on my uh, default model um, apparently haven't been facing quite the right direction. So those got reversed as well. And we're just going to put those back. Um, so anyway, this tool is great for doing that automatically. And uh, so you can use that for more complex situations like this. So if you remember yesterday, I had a CAD file that I brought in and I modeled a bunch of walls and I had a bunch of these walls in here and I needed to reverse the faces so they were all facing outward. And so what I did in this case is I used the second option, which is you can right click in here and under view based face reverser, instead of selecting scan model, which is going to look everywhere in your model, what it's going to do instead is it's going to give me the option to scan a screen region. Because I don't really want it to go in and look for all the faces that aren't in this region, I specifically want to work on this. And so when you right click on that and you click on scan screen region, what this will allow you to do is this will allow you to drag a box around the area that you'd like for it to check the faces. And so when you do that, you get this nice little loading bar down at the bottom showing you the progress of this extension. So you can see how this is going through right now based on this box and it's finding those faces. You can see how it found most of the faces in here um, based on based on that selection box. And you might have to do this a couple times um, depending on how many faces are in here, depending on your camera angle and things like this. But this does make this a whole lot easier than going in and right clicking and reversing all of these manually. And so this is also useful for 3D warehouse models. So this is a model that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. Um, I believe it is called Uh, Villa A. Sierra Mod.002 by Sebastiano Camille Architecto. Architetto. 
Um, so you can download this and look at this one. And it, it's a cool little model, but one of the things that I noticed in here is when I go in and I change this to monochrome mode, what you're gonna notice is a lot of these faces are reversed. And you get this a lot when you're dealing with models from the 3D warehouse, just because a lot of the authors in there don't understand that having the correct faces facing the camera is really important. And so what I'm gonna do in this case, and first of all, I wanna show you, so there is an option in here for scan selection. So it's supposed to scan selected faces and flip those, but for whatever reason, that one doesn't seem to be working. I have a feeling it's because this is an older extension and it hasn't necessarily been 100% updated to work with uh, the newest version of SketchUp. Um, so that option doesn't work, so I've been sticking with the first two. But I can do the same thing where I can just right click in here and I can click the button for scan model and click OK. And that'll go through and that'll look at all of the faces inside of this model and check them to make sure that they're oriented properly. And one thing to note as this goes through and works is you do need to be a little bit careful about this because a lot of 3D warehouse models um, have materials applied to the back faces that don't necessarily need to be there. So this can kind of mess up the way the materials work in here. So there may be some work that you have to do in order to really fix this to make it work 100% properly. You may have to make some judgment calls or reapply some materials. So you can see how this went through and this did a really good job of getting most of those faces reversed. So most of these faces are now facing the correct direction. There may You may have to run that a couple times with different camera angles or stuff like that, but generally speaking, that did a really good job. But if we were to go back in here and turn this back onto shaded with textures mode, you're gonna notice that a bunch of these had materials applied to the back side of the faces um, that you don't necessarily want showing on this face. So like I said, there may be some rework involved in order to get this to work properly, but it's still a fast, easy way to reverse the faces so the correct sides of those faces are facing the camera. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was as helpful to you. Um, could you see yourself using this tool? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.